All right, I'm back, and I admit this is now part three because the last video I did, I somehow, let's just say, I found out that the same thing happened again. So this time, this might be my last video. So, but right now, as you already saw, I cut up the onions, which was very interestingly challenging. This is the second and final onion, so I already cut up, put them in, and then I have to call my aunt to. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this uh, meat. So, yep. Should be very interesting. Cannot wait. Oh boy. Look at it. all these onion flakes. Oh man. And if you heard uh, the noise in the background, that's our uh, neighbors. No, my cousins. They're outside the house. They live next door. They live next door to us, so, yeah. Alright. Oh, let's take care. Oh. oh. Looks like it's another layer, I guess. Yep, it is. Oh, I got it. Alright. I guess that's... covers it, I guess. Yeah, covers it. Alright, so that is the remaining bits and bobs of the onions. So, all the onions, celery, and carrots are in that crock pot. It may look a bit full, but OMG, I wonder how they're going to pull this off. Because I do not know what I'm going to do with these. I really am. So now I gotta call my aunt. I know all the vegetables are done. So, oh yeah. Also, yeah. Last bit. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Alright. Now they're done. So now I gotta call my aunt to see what we're gonna do with this meat. I think she said I need to get a silver skillet. What does that make do? Silver skillet. Anyways, I'm gonna call her. Nope, nope, nope. This time we're gonna spank her. So, I need to ask her if the silver skillet is upstairs or if it's downstairs. Wipe this counter off. And I know certain people on my Facebook are definitely going to want to see this one, so I might just save these videos I make actually made on my Yahoo account. So that way I don't want to worry about taking up a lot of space. Because I already know these videos, man, they're, they're going to be like, hey, you know, what the heck, right? But, you know, that's what we're doing, so, yeah. Oh, it's two and a half minutes and a half, sheesh. All right, I'm going to call her back. Or, hey, let me try her cell phone. Be interesting. Yeah, no, you're C. 
scent is starting to make my eyes go a bit teary, but at least I fought it off. So, yeah. And here's the best bit. I didn't cry because of the ears, so. Voicemail. So, back to work again. Let's see if we can get the results. Hey, uh, the vegetables are done, so, uh, you said you want me to get a silver skillet? Yes. Now, hey. first thing I want you to do is, um, there is some beef onion soup mix. Okay. Um, uh, and then you can put that in the freezer. Okay, but, um, here's the big question, because I, well, I want, because I'm not saying I've actually gotten it, but I just don't want to know, I want to know where the silver skillet is, because I've never seen it. Temperature I'm going to turn it into? Six? in the pan. Now what? Hey, um, do I just let the oil spread out or do I like switch around? What? Oh, so just leave the oil the way it's doing? Okay. And then open the one with tax to me, right? You say open up the second one? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
this, you're going to have to brace yourself for this one because the sound you're hearing, that's the... Uh, where is... Oh, here it is. All right. Right. Uh, Put it in the uh, seal as well, right? Okay. And it's in. The bump is. Yeah. You want it in? I'll stand it both in. Right? Here. And then sweet mix. Can you eat the onion? Yes. Right. Here. Now, right, I so much All right, you said get a measuring cup that holds up the two cups of water, right? Yes. Okay. Done. Say pour on top of the, the vegetables? After you mix it into the water, yes, you're gonna pour that on top of the vegetables. The hot water with the you're gonna that's your making your grade. Oh, so I'm only using one of these angles, right? Well you're actually gonna use them both, but I don't want you to make a mess, so put them one at a time. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. I'm stirring the DC onion mix, first pack, and I'm stirring this forward.
Oh no, I'm starting my the starting my phone at all. I just need to do a few more stirs with it just to be sure and then I'm going to put it in. Teaspoons and tablespoons, right? Tablespoons. Cause got the the one tablespoon in here, so it's mostly. Do you want a tablespoon of? 
I mean, like, what, you know, like, one six, four tins, right? Okay, so each of those things. Oh, okay. And you put it right on top of those. Okay. Alright. One full tablespoon of the oregano. Okay. That's the first thing to spice it. Oh, it's nice, though. Say that. Hell, I'm already starting to actually have a whiff in my nose. Holy crap. What did we get to say about what? I can tell you. It's like good feeling. So, I'm not going to lie. Done. One tablespoon of the. I already got the onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Oregano and yeah, so oregano, oregano check, onion powder check, black pepper check, garlic powder check, and finally we're about to do the pumpkin salt. And the salt is in. Anything else? Thank you. 
Alright. You said turn the stove up, right? Yes. You told me to turn the stove up, right? Yes. Okay. You said all the meat and all the juice in the sauce on? Yep. Okay, got it. You said put the juice of the meat in the crock pot, right? Yes. Okay, done. Let's do that now. And after that, then you just put the lid on and you're done. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I tell you, there's a lot of vegetables in, and the meat is like sitting on top of the vegetables. But once you see the crock pot, you'll see what I mean, because there's a lot of vegetables. I think there's a possibility that the meat has been outnumbered by the vegetables. So. Okay. Hey, where? I'm heading to the gym. Okay. Alright, I'll see you guys. Don't forget to put the lid on. Alright, see you now. Welcome. Alright, I'll see you Alright. Good news is, the meat is in. And. Let's just say that there's a possibility that <sighs> I really think this is going to be an absolute first. I mean, beyond anything I ever thought I would do. I mean, holy crap, man. Holy crap. Hope this video is still playing, too. It isn't. I'm screwed. Yes, you're still playing. Yeah. The last time it paused me, but you can I mean, look at this. This wow. I mean, it's a in there, you know. But shit. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, well, I'll tell you this. See my son, buddy, because there's gonna be a whole lot. See my son. Yep. It is done, and you get to see. The handiwork in question. Take a look at that. Nice, right? Yeah! <laughs> it is official. I'm potentially a chef. I do not know yet, but this is the first time you ever doing something like this. So, wish me luck. And by, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or the day after, the next video will see, I uh, might mention that. And, uh, we'll see... But they save it. So, you saw that looked like beef stew. I don't know what it's going to be called, but you definitely tell you this. It is done. It's done. 
So it's going to be cooking. And I'm just going to clean up in here. And maybe fix me a nice cup of tea. Or a nice biscuit. So this is Rob Dog. To those who know me in the past when I was living in the UK. Robert. He was third. And of course, those I work with at, let's just say, a certain warehouse place that mail out certain packages to other certain businesses. Y'all guys know who you guys are. Pat, Dennis Gill, and if he still works there, for now, hope you do. If Pat come across this, please let, you know, well, Pat, if you come across this, let them all know that I'm hollering at them, letting them know how things are going out here in Virginia, in mean, Germany, uh, Germany. So, like I said, it's your boy. Give old. Peace.